what Danny says there about Pogba, about, about how effective he's been. Um, I'm a, I'm a big Pogba fan, and I always have been, and, and, and loads criticise him, and as I mentioned earlier, I've n- never known a player that polarises opinion as much as him. Mm. Um because he has all the attributes you require in in modern day football to be to be a a, a clearly a consistent top operator, um, and his consistency isn't ha- and hasn't been there enough. I've got to agree. But if United want to win the league, if United want to get back to where they want to be, then I can't believe that you wouldn't play McTominay and Pogba as opposed to playing McTominay and Fred, right? Yep. And then play Fernandez in front of them, and let Pogba and Fernandez link up a little bit, and then, but, 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 but for whatever reason, I don't think the United faithful are really having Pogba, and I don't think they have that that, that they they really really subscribe to to him and and how good he can be. I just think he's a supremely talented footballer, and 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 Ole Gunnar Solskjaer really, I, I'm looking at him more. You have got to try and get more out of him if you can now. It'd be fascinating to see if they can. As we heard Simon Jordan and, and Danny and, 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 and others there and, and, and Trevor Sinclair talking about Paul Pogba, and I think a lot of people have got to the point, Aid, with him where it's time to go. It's time to go. You're never going to change him. You're never going to quite be able to get out of him what you should. Therefore, it's time for him to go. Well, you let good players go. I tell you, they're so difficult to replace. And I can't believe that by letting Paul Pogba go, United are a better team. Right, that's the crux of this. Regardless of how long or how little he's got left on his contract, this season, they haven't signed Varane and Sancho just to hang around in second place. No, of course They're not. trying to improve on that. They're trying to overturn, the, what was it, six, 12-point gap between them and Manchester City uh, the, back in the last season, at the end of last season. They're trying to win the title. Now, you might not think they're going to do it. You might think they're miles off it and they'll be miles off Man City and Chelsea will overtake them, whatever. But Man United are signing those players, and those players are coming to Manchester United to try and win the league. Now, have you got a better chance of winning that league with Pogba in your team or with him out of the team? It is a simple question. And what you've just said there, Andy, is reflected by this tweet from AJ, who says, if United had a top-notch manager who could get the best out of him, then they'd challenge City and Chelsea this season. Unfortunately, the longer Solskjaer stays, the better it is for the rest of the league. That's constantly levelled at Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And I do think it's slightly unfair, that. I do think it's slightly unfair. I do think Ole's team has moved on. I do think they're better. I do think they're better positioned. And I think this year, with certainly with Varane coming in, who's, who's top class and vastly experienced alongside Harry Maguire, I do think that Luke Shaw has, has now uh, re-emerged after having a tough time injury-wise, confidence-wise, and all sorts of other situations he had with Mourinho. That's all done and dusted. That's gone. So he should be absolutely looking forward to this season and, and really looking to fly from the off. Um, I think United are well set, Aid. I think they are they are well set. But Pogba is going to be an enigma for United if he's on the bench. If he's on the bench every week, it's going to be, well, he should have been playing. No, he shouldn't be playing. You are, I think they've either got to go with him properly and absolutely commit 100% to Pogba and stick with him and say, here's where you're going to play. This is how you can do it. Yes, you've got license to go here. And yes, you can do that a little bit. But in the main, this is where you're going to play. And this is what we want from you. This is what I need from you. And if he's not, if you don't want to do that, or if conversations have already taken place between Pogba, his representatives, and Man United to the effect of, look, yeah, it might be better for me to go. Get him gone. Get him gone as soon as you possibly can. Right, OK. I mean, there's a few people who are, are tweeting that he's... So, for example, here, this message says, uh, without him, they'll do better. He's too disruptive and erratic. Everything I've seen, club and country, from all of his teammates, they love him. What's, disrupt- what's, what's disruptive about Pogba? What does he do that's that disruptive? I honestly don't know. And, and uh, Is it because he, has, cause he, like, he dyes his hair or something? And, and his people- agent speaks a lot possibly could well, be it I must admit the agent side of things I do think that guy has a little bit too much to say and I don't think that I don't think he helps always helps the situation for his clients I genuinely feel that listen he makes them very wealthy and he's so powerful in the game that uh, that he can't be ignored eight. but I don't think he always helps uh, some of his players and every time Every time Pogba plays poorly, it's not just because he's been in an average Manchester United team. Mm. It's because he hasn't turned up in, uh, at times. I agree with that. However, I do think that when I look at his ability, I look at what he's got, and I look at, and again, this is always this is always a, a, a subject. You speak to managers, and and I can hear Harry Redknapp now saying about, don't keep telling me what he can't do. Tell me what he's good at. 
Tell me what this player does well. Tell yeah. me what this player... And I think you've got to open your mind up a bit with Pogba and appreciate that... I mean, some, some, of, some, of his, some of his passing, some of his quality at the top of the field, oh. I, I think is truly outstanding. And yet he's going to drift a little bit defensively and there are people that are going to run off of him now and again. And that's where McTominay... That's what N'Golo Conte does for Chelsea. You know, that's what he does. He, he he's, he's all things to all men. And he's the one that, that when someone loses their man, invariably he's the one that nips in there and makes the difference. Well, perhaps others have got to do that yeah. and allow Pogba to do what he does best. Well, Andy, I'd, I would ask this question of, of any, any football fan, not just United fans, of those three midfielders we've been talking about, McTominay, Freds and Paul Pogba, you know, you'd look at those three and think, well, Pogba's the one you wouldn't leave out. They do look at the negative side of Paul Pogba, and there are times where, yeah, things fall apart and he doesn't do defensively what you really want him to do. But there's also plenty of times last season, it doesn't really get highlighted, where Bruno Fernandes gives the ball away really cheaply yeah, and maybe doesn't work hard enough to get it back. But you'd never dream of saying, oh, we've got to get rid of Bruno Fernandes. Well, you have to live with that. With certain players, you've got to accept and you've got exactly. to understand that that they're in the team for different reasons. And, and if you want to... United aren't prolific enough enough at the top of the field like 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 Liverpool have been in recent season seasons to have three real hard working central midfield players that Liverpool have done in order to let those those three up front and the, and Liverpool's two fullbacks really blossom United aren't built that way they're not the same they're not the same as that they haven't got in 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 one bissaka they don't possess a fullback with the quality of Trent mm. they don't possess someone that can get to the top of the field and produce for 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 people up there as well as he can. So they're built differently, United. But what they have got, they've got a very, I think they've got a, a unique talent in Paul Pogba. Now, uh, but but again, it, it's I've, I've never met a player more that, you know, use, I speak to, of course, ex-players all the time about footballers and, we, and, you know, usually someone might go, yeah, I understand what you're saying. With Pogba, do you speak to people? It's either, no, nah, not having him, not having him. Or, yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a player. It's and, amazing, and, isn't it? And it's just like one or the other. There mm. doesn't seem to be any grey area whatsoever. I just get the feeling that 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 that, uh, that that the United fans in general would rather see him gone. Now, you know that remains to be seen. But I just think you 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 let very talented footballers go, and you're a club like Man United striving to get back to the top. Uh, Mark has uh, texted saying uh, the players aren't likely to say they dislike Pogba in public, are they? It's not that. They're not asked, well, do you like Paul Pogba? They are volunteering various things. If you follow them on social media, you'll, you'll see how much they really appreciate what Paul Pogba does, not just for France, but his United friends as well. I mean, that they really like... The point is, they're not saying he's a brilliant footballer or anything like that. That's a given. What yeah. they're saying is they really like him as a bloke. So those who accuse him of being disruptive, what's that based on? Because all his teammates seem to volunteer the information that they really get on with him. Yeah, look, I'm one here. I'm so sick of hearing about Pogba's potential. He's been nothing but mediocre for us for five years. But the thing that really bothers me is never his fault. When was he, Hang on, there's been times when he hasn't been mediocre. There's been times when he's been truly outstanding. Maybe not enough times. Yeah, I, I agree go with that. that. But I have a look at that. some of the others. I mean, there's been times when Rashford's been completely mediocre. Yeah. There's been times when McTominay has looked like a, a League One player. You could... David De Gea has made yep. mistakes where he's, he's got himself out of the Spain team with those mistakes. All sorts of players at Man United haven't done it since Fergie left. Yeah, Just to level it at Pogba seems a bit unfair. The one, the, the, the one caveat in all this for me is whether or not he genuinely wants to stay at United. That, that, that I think, is, is, is very fair amongst the United fans. And they probably feel that, actually, he'd rather go. He'd rather move on. Um, and, and, and if that's the case, well, then you can have... That then you're never going to see the best of Pogba. They're never going to get the best out of him if he if he if he wants to go. If he's anchoring for for a move somewhere else, you're not going to get it. Um, but but if Pogba genuinely wants to stay and wants to commit and wants to go for it, how can he not be in their best eleven? I, I don't get it. Well, I, I remember the game against Switzerland in the, when they went out of the uh, Euros. He scored an absolute worldie, and yet even after that game, it was all his fault. Apparently, I mean, it, it, whatever goes wrong, it seems to be Paul Pogba's fault. Listen, if he does go on a free at the end of the season, then that's up to him. And Man United fans might not like it, but does that mean you hold on to him now because you've got a better chance of winning the title, or you let him go now because you've got a better chance of winning the title without him? Oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four. 